welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about placement groups so by default when you launch an EC2 instance or you launch multiple EC2 instances what AWS EC2 does is it tries to place your instance in a most highly available uh, manner so it tries to place them on different hardware and if you have selected multiple AZs so it divides your instances across multiple AZs but what if you, if you have a requirement where you need your instance close together on a specific hardware for some cluster application or workload, right? So to do that, we use placement groups. So what are placement groups? So they are nothing. It's just a way to influence your placement of EC2 instance for special workloads. So whenever you have a workload which requires high network you know, throughput, uh, node to node, uh, communication should be fast so in those cases we use uh, placement groups placement groups can be of multiple types so generally there are three types which are given by aws the first one is cluster so when you create a cluster type of placement group what aws does is it places your ec2 instance on one particular hardware very close to each other so this is basically when you need a very high node to node communication so in those cases, you will select the cluster type of uh, placement group. Next is your partition type of placement group. So what AWS does, is it uh, basically creates logical partition of your EC2 instances and divides them across multiple hardware so that no partition shares the hardware. So this basically gives you some fault tolerance. So suppose if hardware or a rack goes down you still have a partition which is running in different hardware which is up and running so you can see if you, there we have an availability zone and across this availability zone we have different racks right these are racks where AWS has created your partition uh, placement group and your these are your EC2 instances running so even if this hardware goes down you still have these two hard, uh, hardware which are running so these two placement groups are running and your application would be up so these basically hardware do not share uh, the underlying uh, network or power source so that is why it will not affect if these did one hardware goes down so this is your partition type of placement group third type is your uh, spread placement groups so this is very similar to partitions but in this case AWS doesn't create any logical partitions instead it places each instance on a different or a distinct rack so you can see there's an AZ and all these are EC2 instances on a different rack so this gives you the same kind of fault tolerance since they are on different hardware they don't share this power source or the network so you have uh, uh, instances uh, up and running in different uh, hardwares so this is what spread the placement group does thing in the theory i would tell you that placement and spread placement groups can span across multiple AZs, so they can go across multiple AZs. but your cluster placement group cannot span across multiple AZs. it has to be in a single AZ. Uh, i'll put the link uh, in the description for the limitations so cluster partition and spread these have a few limitations so instead of telling them here I would probably paste a link of AWS documentation which is very good so probably you guys can go through that I mean it's good for knowing but in exam probably it's not required so for your knowledge for your understanding I would recommend you to just go through that link and see what what are the limitations for partitions and spread and cluster replacement groups so this is it for this theory video guys in next video just let's go into the AWS console and see how we can create a cluster or a partition or a spread placement group so i hope you like this video uh, please follow me and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching